Hello, beautiful caps. How are you going? How are you going? Sorry, I'm a bit late with the March readings, but you know, shit happens and life happens and things. <sighs> Come and go and take place and you just do what you do and move on. How are you anyway? I might take those. I have a feeling. I've got a feeling in my waters. What have we got? Ah! Oh, Closing out a cycle, new truth coming in, something about the past. What is going on? This is fascinating and you've got me hooked already. Mm -hmm. What shall it be? What shall it be? What's happened in the recent past for you guys? Ace of Pentacles, another fresh start, which rounded off. It's Earth. It's your area, my love. So it's finished something, but it looks here you know, like you're chasing a truth. It's like it's got away from you. You found something out which started beautiful. Look at that started something new and now you're tra chasing something that you haven't seen yet or haven't discovered yet i think this is the challenge card i think the past might be somehow blocking you from from seeing it from getting on the bike and riding get on your bike and ride is what i've just anyway She's your chatty, chatty little Capricorns today, aren't you? Not usually this chatty. Seven of Cups. Yeah, lots to decide from. Do I, don't I? Do I? Here's the Six of Cups. Is it really what I thought it was? Is it really what I think it is? Mm -hmm. I'm going to keep going. What aren't you seeing? I might clarify some of these in a minute. What aren't you seeing? What isn't Capricorn seeing? Because you've got some big decision. You're not seeing the catch. You're not seeing the hook, the tie. Check this out. Look at this. Oh, I hope you can see. See this this person here? They've got a hoodie on. Can you see that? They're tired and they've got a hoodie on. And this person has a hoodie on. And they're running. They're, they're, they're trying to chase this. Both these things that are getting away from them. But they're not using what they've got they're just chasing things that they'll never catch and this is this is why you're not you, you're not seeing that it's a it's something from your past that you're either running away from and not facing or you're not sure how to how to do it, how to run away from this, how to get away from this. You're not sure how to do it. And it's got you left in this state of suspended animation you just this radio I'm just going to keep going um what's coming up because I'm hoping something's coming up that will help you one way or the other
Yeah, I was just about to say there's lots coming through now. Death and rebirth is coming through and the high priestess. You are learning to use your intuition. Too many there. You're learning to use your intuition. You're going to put an end to this. Um, this is Scorpio energy, if that means anything. Um, and that's Jupiter energy. Um, I'm just going to... What's the advice? Yeah, stop turning your back on what's on offer. Oh, this is this is really important for somebody. Um, you are you're not listening to this. This is the advice. This is what's coming up that, that you need to pay attention to. There's going to be a death to this hooded, hooded attachment. But in order to do that, you need to open up to a higher vibration, a higher a level of, of love and trust and faith rather than fear and control and um avoidance but here the the advice is this is what's on offer and you're not seeing it you too this is where the past's coming in you're not seeing it you're too busy looking at the past to see what's here right in front of you or on offer this is where you could be So I'm just going to get one more, two, a couple more before I just, I want to clarify some of these for you. Yeah, I might do that now. <sighs> Tell you what, the last two readings have been huge. So... I want to clarify this Knight of Swords. Can you clarify this Knight of Swords, please? Can we get some clarity around the Knight of Swords? Thank you. You want healing. This could have just, this could be, have been happening recently or it could be happening now. Um, but this is the, these are the Intuit Oracle decks and they're representative of a whole different lot. So it's kind of very intuitive reading once you, when you're using these. So it's like, the Queen of Air, it's it's like you're chasing you are chasing something better. You're chasing who you know you want to be, but you don't know how to do it, and that's why you're not using the tools you've got. You you're not taking time out to you're trying to, you're trying to take time out. But in the meantime, you're just doing it. Yeah. That's what the problem is. You're doing it on your own. You're not... You're not asking for help. You're thinking like you've got to do it all on your own. And that's the mistake people make, is that by doing it on their own, they're not... They're reinventing the wheel and it takes so much more time and effort and and backwards and forwards than if you just ask for help because lots of people have been through this themselves. Um, clarify the four of... Oh, okay, good, thank you. 
yeah, there's been a loss and you're not seeing this. This is a loss to you. Because it's a bit of the devil you know. You knew it wasn't you knew it wasn't good and that's why this fresh start's been offered to you and this cycle's ending. You can tell it's ending because this is the way you're looking. And you're this this is you, but you're running from it. So you know that you need to get away from this, but you're still unsure how to do it. You don't know which which method to take because you're doing it on your own. If you look at the on the water and this is very water imagery as well mm. this is almost despondent energy where you know yeah get some help Ask for some help. There's people around you, old people in in authority or who have been there, done that, got the T-shirt. I have the feeling that this, this high priestess has something to do with it, with overcoming this attachment and helping you see that, that this is what's waiting for you this right here and and you don't have to run towards it you don't have to run towards it it's your it's your right of it's it's what you were meant to have from the very beginning you were meant to have this and you don't get it by running or or guessing or looking back at lost things that are lost you you get it by being still and accepting and patient and and just knowing it's a deep it's a deep deep knowing that this is this is there but you don't have to chase it you just have to stop running he wants you to run so he can keep you on a string but if you just stop, just stop running. Sit down. Be patient. Open up. Listen to to this. It, it's it's not loud. This this higher knowing, this deep, deep, deep knowing. It's not loud. It's very, very soft. And it's it's heart centered and it's warm that's how i can tell the difference if it's sharp and loud and anything you know a bit bitey i know that that's not the direction it's coming from it's coming from this direction so just stop running that's going to be the title of this stop running Anything else for my beautiful Capricorns? Yeah. I mean, that's it. That's what's for you. This is what's for you. Four of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. This is, this is the 11-11 card. This is soulmates and twin flames and happy families and stability. And this is the Ten of Pentacles. This is the... This is the ducks nuts of, of cards to me. Ten of Pentacles. It's abundance in every area of your life. So that's what's waiting for you, my loves. Just stop running. Just that's it. That's all it is. It's just stop running. I'm going to use a self love oracle to round it out. Because I think that's what's needed for you, my gorgeous people. So let's see. What's the advice for Capricorns in March? 
what advice do you have for Capricorn in March? What advice do we have for Capricorn in March? Be patient. Listen. Trust in your own self worth. Stop running, take the hoodie off, and look at straight in the eye what you've been running from. This is the third eye chakra and it's self-devotion. Now I haven't, <laughs> I haven't um, used these cards before. This is brand new today. So let's have a look what it says. And this is not about this is not about self um, gratification or self-centeredness. This is about putting some value in yourself. Give yourself a chance every day. This card suggests that you have been asking more of yourself. You have wanted to rise above your fears and bad habits to serve others as your heart asks. You can indeed be a gift to everyone you meet. You can give hope and an image of grace, inspiration and elevation. To do this requires self-devotional practices that ensure you know how to command your mind so that you don't pollute your projection with any negative thoughts or words. When you care deeply enough about yourself to take full responsibility for living your life to the fullest... You are ready to commit to self-enrichment and gratitude for your true self practice. Remember I was saying this is your true, this is this is your your true path. This is what you were always meant for. This commitment will create an inner trust and build resilience to disease and disharmony within your ten bodies. Spend some time every morning focusing on your worth. And that, my love, means sitting still. I think that's beautiful. All right, my loves, until next month, or if not sooner, I love you lots. Thank you for being with me. I am very much appreciated, and I'll talk to you soon. Love, hugs, and as always, a great big kiss. Bye.